What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. And today I'd like to talk about uh, some leaks about the Sniper's Nest returning to Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, take a second to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And of course, check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now, of course, there's a lot of leaks that come out you know, pretty much weekly about Black Ops Cold War. But one of the biggest leakers out there, one person that usually is pretty spot on with a lot of their, you know, content that they put out on Twitter or YouTube, or whatever the case may be, is the MW2 Ghost. Now, he did tweet out uh, that he was not sure if this is a actual bug or upcoming content, but some people have been sending him pictures of the sniper's nest appearing when you mark uh, a, a care package. So, it is showing to be available in game. Of course, you cannot get a sniper's nest out of that care package, but it is showing to be there. Now, of course, a lot of the kill streaks from past uh, Call of Duty games, uh, especially Black Ops 4, are still in the game's code. I, I think they use those things as like markers or, or placement holders for the kill streaks, you know, from this year's title when they're making the game. They use that old code, you know, to kind of just hold the places for some of the stuff. We've seen this in the past with. You know, uh, when it comes to calling cards, when it comes to emblems and things like that, they will use those older ones uh, or those older things from the uh, past games. Like I said, this is pretty much placeholders. But overall, I'm kind of hoping this is going to come to come to light. I'm hoping this is not just a, you know, a bug and the sniper's nest will come to the game. We've already talked about in some other videos about dogs returning. Uh, that has also been leaked. And I think we need some better kill streaks in game. I'm not a huge fan of the kill streak system. Don't get me wrong. I wish kill streaks were like they used to be. You, know, you had to go on your streak to actually get them. I'm not a fan of everybody getting kill streaks because it's pretty much, uh, you know, not really impossible to get a kill streak in the game. You don't have to have an awful game not to get something, whether it be a UAV, uh, you know, a Hellstorm, um, whatever the case is, you know, Napalm. And I've talked about this before. I'm not a big fan of how everyone gets kill streaks because it seems like a lot of times at the end of the round, if you play Team Deathmatch Domination, everybody has their streaks towards the end. Because even if they had a just decent game, if they're kind of even, you know, if you go like 30 and 30 in Dom, you're still going to get a good bit of your streaks, if not all of them. And I'm just not a fan of that system. And of course, I think, you know, we're not, in, in my opinion, we're not in a, in a place in Cold War where the, the streaks are really OP. They're not really that good, in, you know, in all honesty. And of course, this is just my opinion. There's no actual fact on this, but I think it's done on purpose. I, I think these streaks are not as good as they've been in the past because they know everybody's going to be able to get most of the streaks game in and game out. So they don't want to make them just too dominant on the map. If you think back in some older Black Ops games, if you had a chopper gun or you had dogs, you were pretty much dominating the map. You were going to go 30, 40, and 0. The other team really didn't stand a chance. And I don't think they wanted to do that, but I wish we had some better uh, just kill streaks in general. Uh, I think the addition of dogs, the addition of the sniper's nest would be really nice. Something that's a little bit, little stronger than what we have in game. Because right now, I mean, the big streaks are not that good. Uh, the chopper gunner is just all right, in my opinion. The AC-130 is just okay. A lot of people use the, uh, you know, that kind of support streak that can take down anything in the air. And it's a lot lower uh, of a streak to get, you know, kill-wise than some of the other streaks. So most of the time when you throw something up, it gets taken down automatically with the air patrol. So I'm just not a big fan of how the streaks work. I wish some of them were a little better. I'm hoping maybe the addition of the sniper's nest, maybe the addition of the dogs in the future will add some better streak variety to the game and something that you can feel like, you know, if you actually get a streak, you want to feel like you're dominating the map. And like I said, I know that everyone gets streaks in game and they could not make all the streaks just absolutely insane or it would be pretty much just spam the entire game and you're getting dominated even more than normal in these skill-based match-made lobbies. But leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Would you like to see the sniper's nest return? What other uh, past maybe kill streaks would you like to see come back to the game? And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.